when I was making our doll mermaid bed, I thought that this idea could make some great patio furniture. So we are going to make some pool size furniture using cardboard, jute or twine, paper and glue. I start by measuring cardboard to cut rectangles of cardboard. I'm starting with the couch, so here is a long piece of cardboard for the back, another long one but slightly shorter for the seat, two for the sides, and one for the front. Take the cardboard for the seat, cover with paper. I'm using white computer paper and a glue stick. Place the paper on top, press firmly to smooth it out, make small cuts at the corners, making trapezoids, then fold and glue the paper over the edge to neatly cover the cardboard. Now let's glue it all together. Take the seat and glue the front underneath, glue on the sides, then glue on the back to make the basic structure. To cover the exposed cardboard, take jute, start in the back and apply a line of hot glue. Carefully place the jute on top pressing it into the glue without touching the glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. When I get to the corner, I continue around the side, adding glue as I go, then along the front, the other side, then the back, bringing me back to my starting point. Allow the jute to go above the previous row, then continue going all the way around gluing as I go. Once the front and sides have been covered, I begin wrapping it just around the top. When I get to the top, neatly glue the jute across to cover the raw edge to make a simple couch for lounging by the pool. Make another one that is half the size for a chair. For a coffee table, I take a plastic jar, glue and wrap it with jute. When it is all done, place it in the center for a cute little matching set. Cut squares of fabric, sew them together good side to good side, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. Add fluff, sew the opening closed to make pillows. If the dolls need a little more cushion, place it onto a piece of felt, cut around it leaving a little extra for a seam allowance. Place it on two cut pieces of fabric, sew around the edges, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. Sew the opening closed to make the cushion for a simple patio set. This set is very versatile. You can use it inside the house for a casual seating area or keep it outdoors. Change the pillows to change the look. You know, this looks just like the rope furniture on Pinterest. All we need now is our doll fire pit from a previous video. And you're done. Happy crafting! give a shout out to Frap Lover. What's up? <laughs> Chloe, are you reading my diary? Yeah, I bought it at the bookstore today. You know, if you're gonna write stories about people you actually know, you should probably change the names. I didn't plan on it getting published. Give me that. I can't believe this is happening. Sophie, that's my book. Well, do I at least get a refund? 